Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about editing your mobile website in the Divi WordPress theme, editing mobile websites, and having a theme that can easily edit the mobile version is super important now. It's 2020 now, and it's getting to the point where um, over half of the traffic in definitely the US and also globally is on mobile. So you almost wanna design your website for mobile first. Um, so in designing Divi websites, it's very easy to uh, modify the uh, mobile website. And actually when I design sites in Divi, I typically do it desktop first. Um, and then we go through and edit the mobile version. One of the nice things about Divi is that it automatically kind of formats everything for mobile. So you're going to find that probably 80% of your site already looks pretty good on mobile uh, when you design it. Uh, for desktop first. And a lot of that will just depend on the layout of the website. A lot of websites are gonna be simple enough that they're gonna look, you know, 99% just fine on mobile and you're not gonna really have to do anything at all. Uh, there are some sites uh, like this one, for example, that I know when I design them, some of the elements are not gonna work on mobile. They're gonna have to be adjusted. This is a good example, this white box here. I already know that's not gonna work quite right on mobile, so I'm gonna have to create a different version of that uh, on mobile. Some other elements on here, like this picture. This section will probably be fine. So really, it's this top section that's gonna be an issue on mobile. So if I go into the Divi Builder, uh, we see these three icons here, but this is a section that's gonna be a problem. So when you're in the Divi Visual Builder, you can click this purple icon at the bottom to open this menu. And then you can easily get to these um, selectors here where you can go right to the phone view, which is typically what I do. Um, so then we can see how things look on phone. You can always go to your smartphone and look at it. It will look a little different probably depending on the device. But this gives you a pretty good idea of what it's gonna look like on most um, smartphone devices. So here's the version that we had. And it doesn't look too bad, except that it's cutting off the image. Um, so this is grayed out because I have this setting on. So if you click this icon, this menu icon down here, you can show disabled modules at 50% opacity. So if I turn that off, it'll disappear. So basically what it's doing is it's showing me items or modules that are hidden on mobile. So the way you can, one way to hide modules on mobile is to click the settings for the row or the L, whatever module it is. In this case, it's a row. And if I click on the settings for it, I could go to advanced visibility and I can hide it on phone. You can see it changes color or it's no longer grayed out when I enable it. There's another way to do it as well and I could click on the settings for a row. For some reason it's jumping up here, but I could click disable and I could turn it off on mobile, for example, and you'll see at the bottom there, it gets grayed out. And then there's also tablet and desktop. So right now I have this row here enabled on mobile and this one is enabled on desktop. So if I go back to the desktop, you know, you'll see this version and you'll see this mobile version grayed out. And here again is where you could go to change which uh, devices it's enabled on. So if I were starting from scratch with this and I wanted to create a mobile version, I would probably just copy this by clicking the duplicate row icon. So that's gonna create a duplicate version. So then I would go to the row settings and I would click disable so that I could disable it on desktop and tablet and then have it enabled on mobile. That way when I switch to the mobile version, I can then begin to edit it and change it. It's not gonna affect the desktop version. So that's exactly what I did here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this version I just created. I did that already. Or maybe I created a brand new row here and enabled it on mobile, but disabled it on desktop and tablet so that I could just create a simple image here with the same text from below. So it's really just a simple version of what we had on the desktop version. So that's one way to create or modify your mobile version and it's by creating duplicate 
uh, rows, sections, or modules so that you can customize them for different devices. Another thing I find myself doing often is when I don't have to create a duplicate version, for example, with these icons, they look fine on desktop, or sorry, they look fine on desktop and mobile. Um, so if you go to the desktop version, they look like this. And if I go back to mobile, they go straight down in a row or one column. But one thing I have to do often is fix the um, margins and spacing on the mobile version. And Divi makes it very easy to do that as well. So let's say on mobile I wanted more spacing below this last icon. I could open up this row, go to design, spacing, and for margin, I'd want to add bottom margin. So you need to click on this icon here, which opens up this device selector so I could edit the desktop version or the phone version. So it's important to note that if I were to just drag margin here, if I could get to it, like on this actual blurb module, I could drag out margin but that's gonna be the default margin. It's gonna affect every device. So if I wanted to do that only on mobile, I could go into that blur module, again, go to design, spacing. Here's the default that I just added, so I'm gonna delete that. First click on this device icon, and then you can switch between tablet, desktop, and phone. So what I'm gonna do is just drag some additional bottom margin only on the phone. Now if we go back to desktop, that's zeroed out. So there's no um, bottom margin or it's just the default, which I think is 30 pixels. But on the phone, I've added additional margin. A lot of times what I'm doing on the phone mobile version is actually reducing the margins, um, but that at least shows you how to do it. If you wanted to reduce it, obviously you would just do the opposite or lower it below the default 30. So those are the two ways that I typically find myself modifying the mobile version on the Divi theme. So the first way is duplicating a section, a row or a module, and then customizing it specifically for a device like the phone or sometimes tablet, usually it's desktop or tablet. And the second way I showed you is actually modifying um, the settings for a row, a section, a module, uh, four different devices. So that's by using this device selector here. And you could pretty much do that for almost any setting. Once you scroll over it at the top, you'll get that um, mobile icon where you could then adjust the settings for different devices. So it's a powerful way to edit mobile sites. It's one of the reasons I really like creating sites with Divi. Um, I hope you find that helpful. Check out some of my other Divi tips and make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more in the future. We'll see you on the next one.